Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could use the option pricing model to analyze option prices on an options chain. And we're going to use SPY in this example. I'm going to scroll down here. And what I did was select an option expiration in SPY, August 16th. When I did that, we got the options chain for that August 16th options expiration. You can see here three business days to go. And we have the call options on one side, the put options on the other side. Here are the strikes. And next to each option, we have the price of the option and the implied volatility. And I do want to just make a quick note that you could see the implied volatilities on each option is different. And that's because there is a skew in SPY. But for this example, we're going to concentrate on one option and i'm just going to pick an at the money here let's say the 445 strike and here we see the call is bid 278 offered at 281 and the implied volatility of the bid is 12.6 the implied volatility of the offer is 12.7 and our question is the following that is the implied volatility or the markets implied or forecasted future volatility of SPY from now to expiration. And if we wanted to input our own volatility, if we had our own forecast and we wanted to input that volatility and compare our price versus the market price and see the difference, how can we do that? So I'm gonna show you really quickly. First, let's just pick a volatility that we would like to test and to make it easy i'm going to come up here and use as a reference um the historical volatility in spy right now is 11.2 so that's the 20 day historical volatility and if i want to test out the assumption that the next three days the volatility will be similar to what it did in the last 20 i'd like to input 11.2 volatility and see the value in the middle here, the theoretical value, and compare it to the current market prices. And to do that, I'm gonna change this theoretical value model. So right now it's set to the best fit, which basically looks at the implied volatilities and runs a um, regression to get the best fit uh, vol. But let's go come over here and put in a custom vol. I'm going to click on this custom volatility and let's put in this 11.2. So I'm going to enter in 11.2 volatility and then I'm going to hit OK. And what will happen is in this Theo everywhere that we are going to get the theoretical value of the option using 11.2 volatility. Okay. So let's hit, hit OK. And now you could see here, these are the theoretical values using an 11.2 vol. And here we could make a quick comparison. If our forecast is correct and we and that the volatility in SPY next three days will be on average 11.2, then this option is worth $2.51. So the market bidding 278 would be overpricing that option. And you could see here, these are the implied, the theoretical values using the option pricing model with the input of 11.2 volatility. So that is a quick way to analyze the option prices in an options chain by inputting your own forecasted volatility, and then looking at the difference between your theoretical value and the market prices. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.